I feel like this was the best offensive performance you guys have had this year? Uh, definitely. I mean, we've been working all season. I'd say from the start we were very sloppy, and we've just been working every game to get better, and this game is our most complete performance. I mean, they were locking us off a lot, so we were just working off the ball and doing our best. Yeah, I mean, when you have that stop and start due to COVID to start the year, right, I mean, how long did it take to kind of get that chemistry with these guys? It definitely took some games. I mean, we started off with a scrimmage at LS, and I mean, they were just tearing us apart at the beginning, and we couldn't get anything going. So just took some practice, and we're finally starting to click. Yeah, I mean, talk about how unselfish it seems. It seemed that almost every goal had some sort of great pass or great dodge to, to get it set up, and just the weapons you guys working off each other. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're lucky to have guys that uh, move off ball and don't just watch us uh, dodge. Yeah, and the, and the effort of the defense today to shut out a good team in the second half. I mean, the goaltending, Finn's been ridiculous this year. The goaltending, the defense, couldn't be better. It's the only reason we're allowed to get goals is because we're getting takeaways, we're stopping them every time. So with that kind of stop and start, and then you see that offensive chemistry we saw today, I mean, what does that speak to? It just that they're the type of, they're unselfish. They, they really want to win it all as a team. They, they don't really care if Matt got six or four or three or whatever. I have no idea either. They, they just all want just to win. They, they really have, you know, this, they were freshmen when we won it the last time, these seniors. So they keep talking about, you know, we want to be contributors this year, not back then we had Tobin, Tobin and Geiger and, you know, and they weren't really contributors. You know? I mean, anytime you can show a team for a quarter or a half, then... This team is good. Yeah. I mean, that score doesn't indicate how good they are. I mean, they beat a hell of a Melrose team. Yeah. You know, yeah. and Melrose is really good. And these guys took it to them twice. Yeah. So, I mean, they got those two at the end of the first half. I mean, you know, were you a little concerned about a momentum shift there or... No. 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 I was uh, concerned that we were losing our composure, and we need to keep our game plan going. It seemed like he got back pretty quickly, though. Well, yeah, yeah. You give the ball to Matt Blasi and get the hell out of the way. That's yeah. good coaching, as far as I can tell. Well, Boyle had, you know, pretty good. Boyle had, uh, Paul and Moby had three or four, I guess. Right. Yeah. Blasi's some great individual goals, but there are a lot of creative goals today. Which is what we work on all the time. Mm -hmm. I love Matt and his individual efforts, but we really work on looking for the, you hear us going gap or, or find the skip pass. And that's really what we work on in our offense. It's meant to do that. And so, and they gave you a lot of man up. You know, able to well, we, we figured that out because we watched the Burlington film and we watched them in person twice. And they have a lot of... Thank you.